Hi guys again, Alexandra here again. Today I'm back with a tutorial on Wibbits, which is an online video creation tool. Now, if you are familiar with tools like Canva, Adobe Spark, this tool actually has a similar interface that you will find very easy to get used to. Why you would like to go for Wibbits instead of an agency or a freelancer is because the cost can be considerably cheaper and you will also have the freedom to take care of those videos the way you want them. Now, what I recommend at the beginning is to just go with the cheapest plan first, which allows you to create unlimited videos within that first month when you pay roughly this sum of money, 560 euros per month. It's obviously cheaper if you go with the annual version, but do test it before you decide to use it for a whole year. Now, since you're getting started, you can choose from a couple of templates, either from here, from the template section, or from top stories, which is videos that have been created around real stories that are happening in the world right now. So you can opt for any of these to then customize your uh, videos. For this tutorial, we are going to opt for a social media post, which is one of the common types of posts you might be looking to create. You can also create something similar in Canva, but the video editing options there are very limited. So if you want to create a true video in its real sense, opt for this tool instead. And we are going with this first template. And yes, the tool is going to take a while to load because it is a video editing tool, but don't worry because you have some fun quotes to read while you wait. Even if you're not going to use this specific template here, it helps to have a few slides to begin with. So you don't feel like you're starting from scratch and you're just more motivated to keep editing the video. Now the editor is very simple to use and most actions can be done via simple drag and drop clicks. And basically what you're going to do is, you know, just click on a video and from here you can add maybe some captions. Now, to change the exact layout of this title, you're going to go to this icon here. Honestly, just hover over them if you can remember these and you will get the feature you need. And from here, you can choose from a bunch of options, including a caption, subtitles if you want to add these, title and subtitle, even memes, which should be very fun to create. And of course, you also have the option to apply the same layout to all of the slides, which is especially helpful if you want maybe subtitles. And once you're back at your first story scene, from here you can also add different text depending on the layout you choose. For example, this meme layout has two rows, while a menu layout will have just multiple rows you can work with. You can always just go to duplicate this scene and what this does is it takes the exact same media from your previous scene and doubles it on the other. You might want to keep using this feature if you want, for instance, the same video in the background, but want to have different text on the other screen. Just think of these scenes as slides in a presentation and that will do the trick for you. All of these scenes can be moved around either from here or from the left side where you actually edit your scenes. You can edit the text and the media from here as well, or just on the left side menu from where you can opt to choose media, which includes videos and images, either from a library of basically free stock images you can opt for or upload your own and even use some of the images, videos you already have in your current project. Then you have the style option, which makes it super easy for you to just add a beautiful style to any scene or to the entire video without having to have any kind of design skills. 
And from here, you can just choose your font, a highlight color, a type of textile if you want, for example, a kind of transition for the text so it's not just boring plain text. For example, you have this plate one which has a background color. For the title, you have, you know, just a swoosh, a fade, your typical type of style. And of course, you also have the transitions for each scene or slide, if you will, and some logo options. Also, you have the music options. Again, you have a library for these, or you can just upload your own and even favorite your pop songs. Now, to edit a video or image in detail, just double click on the scene. And this new editor will pop up on the right side. To go back, just click on these four squares here and you are back at your scenes on the storyboard. Now here you have a couple of extra options to work with. First of all, you have your brief preview. You can also opt to change the length of the snippet. And also, once I double clicked on the video, I got these crop options, first of all, which allow me to reduce or zoom in, zoom out on the video. So you can choose the scene and the exact area of that video that you find works best for your needs. You obviously have the trim options, which allow you to cut the exact moments from that video. Just make sure you click on apply as well. You have some sound options to decide if you want the sound from the video or the sound that you add from the music section. And of course, you have some media filters, which just add a very dramatic or subtle or blur type of effect to your video. Now, if you go and double click on the text, you will be able to edit this text here in detail. Now, once you double click on the text, you will be able to change the effect of this text from its style, you know, colors, go to the styles again if you want to test some more, change the font, change the size, obviously, and some other basic editing features. And it works the same way for any other type of content you have. Anything you want to edit, just double click on it and you will be able to do the edits as you wish. If you ever need any further help, you have this option here to contact the team or look through their support materials. You also have a tutorial here at the top. I do advise you to use the media options in as much detail as you want and just search for exactly what you need to make sure that the final content looks the way you want it to. This is all for today about Wibbit. It is a video creation tool that is commonly used for creating videos such as the one you see right now or promotional ads, any kind of commercials maybe, or other type of videos you may want to promote your business, your ideas, create courses, anything like that. If you have any questions, just reach out to their team. And if you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and a like below, and I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful week and take care.